What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. Since I'm about Jordan Peele's nope in this video here again today. We still don't have a second trailer that's been released despite you know that Monkey Paw Productions tweet that stated to keep your eyes peeled. We haven't gotten anything. I know a lot of you saw that tweet and you're like where the hell is this trailer? Uh, and of course we're still expecting that trailer to contain mostly stuff that we know was shown at CinemaCon in April I believe at this point. But we haven't gotten anything yet. The movie is supposed to come out mid-July. We're in the month of June. Second day of June at this point. So they have all this month to do something but here's the thing the delays have already begun and you know if we don't hear anything sooner rather than later this month then that's an indication to me that okay there's going to be some type of delay that goes into this movie and how it's going to be released or not how it's going to be released but when it's going to be released because again i've already stated that there's already been stuff starting in europe uh, big screen leaks did actually tweet out a reply recently to a tweet talking about uh, more films being delayed or something like that he stated that nope is starting to get delayed in europe and i've heard the vfx work on the film is nowhere near ready to release so i wouldn't be shocked if north america follows suit so there's already delays they're starting for europe the vfx apparently is nowhere near complete as I've already mentioned, that was one of the biggest complaints or biggest criticisms coming out of these test screenings, which again, having a test screening where it's so close to the close to the release and the VFX are not done was troublesome or bothersome to a lot of people. Now, VFX isn't something that I I'm not in the industry or anything like that. So, of course, to me, if it's all the, if all this is, is VFX, the delay that's coming, if it happens, would just be only by a few weeks i would imagine you're going to get it pushed into sometime mid-august instead of late july you won't get it pushed into next year or anything like that it doesn't sound like the vfx are just completely incomplete in terms of you know just like nothing is good or presentable about them as much as it is there still needs to be some final touches put on them things need to be refined things need to be completed finalized so i imagine you'll get it pushed into sometime mid-august at this rate if it were to get delayed in north america because the delay, the delays have already started i know a lot of you are also excited about the movie i know a lot of you have also been watching my countless videos about this film and more recently of course those leaks out there online if you're someone who's read the leaks then okay good for you i don't know what you thought about the leaks but as far as what i'm still expecting for the movie i do expect us to have some type of twist regarding kiki palmer's character still i expect there to be some type of commentary having to do with maybe immigration some type of commentary on something related to how the ufo of course is just a metaphor for something else going on in america and it just might not be that very heavily conveyed in terms of the message like we got for get out and got for us was again get out was about race us i would say was about class and us or what i meant to say was nope could be about you know immigration fear of immigration something else related to current climates in america but for a lot of people from what they've said coming out of these test screenings they said that the social commentary is 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 not as impactful i guess as it was for the first two movies he's done he's more of a straightforward alien invasion movie which is not a bad thing and you know the vibes of people saying it feels like signs i know there are a lot of fans of signs who love that movie from m like Shyamalan, so that's something to look forward to as well with the movie but in terms of just expectations really quick i think that what i'm going to just go in now expecting is a movie that that is mostly just a big fun popcorn movie with some solid performances it might have a few pacing issues it might have a script that i'm not all in agreement with in terms of just how everything comes together even if it is more logical than us there might just be something that's still just not clicking or meshing as well as opposed to what he has done in the previous movies get out and us because i do think that this movie of course should be more logical in terms of you know not falling underneath all its twist like us did sadly when you start looking through us once again after all the twists and turns are revealed the plot starts to uh, starts to crumble on itself you know certain things aren't making sense anymore a lot of big plot points and messages while they are driven home you know going back and rewatching them some of their some of their purpose and meaning might be diminished by the fact that okay when you rewatch it some stuff doesn't make sense a lot of questions are raised that don't really seem like they'll be addressed because again i've already talked about in another video the red alchemist society that he's already been t touching on ever since commentary was released for the get out home home video release 
where he talked about the, the Red Alchemist Society and who the Armitages were connected to and these old knights from back in way back when. So if there's a secret order, secret society going on, I think that would be helpful in terms of introducing them at some point. If not here in another movie, something tells me that nope is just another thing, a part of a planned cinematic universe from Jordan Peele. He could, of course, have discarded that and not want to do anything with the Red Alchemist Society anymore. And that's just something that's been abandoned altogether. But the alien invasion presence, from what I've been told in other videos that I've already made about to you guys, seems like we won't even really get to see the aliens as much as much as it will be very focused on trying to instill fear through UFOs, UFO sightings, people running around and jumping to conclusions over UFO sightings, taking all these wild precautions while they don't have all the details. Because again, that could be something else that they're trying to commentate on, how people jump to conclusions. There could be something that's going on in Nope, which we clearly see depicted in the teaser seem to be something about aliens, but nobody in town has all the answers yet they seem to have all the appropriate responses to said things which of course would then backfire on them because they responded without all the complete context could that be something that they're trying to commentate on i don't know that could have something to do with of course trying to address media and media propaganda and you know just other different topics that go on day in and day out within this country so we'll see what happens and we'll see if this movie actually releases we will see if it manages to relate make it to its july release date i know many of you are looking forward to the movie i'm looking forward to the movie i'm just going in and i was expecting it to be a fun good time with solid performances a decent script maybe some questionable pacing and you know maybe some good finalized visual effects and of course something that's bone chilling with the score because all the scores so far for jordan peele's movies have been epic so i can't wait to see how the score is with this one as well i'm expecting a lot of tension as well but all in all i will go in expecting this to be the weakest of his three movies that's just me so that way if it is i was already prepared for it let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post the kitchen and miss the video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video